Have you been thinking of making a list of places to visit over the next few years? If you have, there's no way you should miss scheduling time to see some of the most famous landmarks in the world. Believe it, they're not famous for nothing. While their names will no doubt be familiar, it won't be until you're actually standing in front of one of them that you'll be able to truly appreciate their jaw-dropping splendor, the awe-inspiring, monumental grandeur of these world-famous landmarks. Without any delay, we start our journey. At number 10 is Christ the Redeemer, Brazil. Even if you're not religious, you need to see the statue of Christ the Redeemer in Rio de Janeiro. The immense structure is an incredible combination of artistic creativity and ingenious engineering from on top of Mount Corcovado. The staggering 38-meter tall statue looms over the city below, arms outstretched in benediction. But it's not until you get up close You'll realize just how big the statue is and you'll start to wonder how they ever got it up there in the first place is that colossal, reaching those dizzy heights. Don't let the altitude of the statue put you off going to see it either, although you can hike your way up, which will make you feel like a true explorer. There's also a tram which winds its way up Mount Corcovado through the forest and is far less strenuous on your legs. At the end of the tram line, you'll find a minibus waiting to take you on the final Vertigo inspiring leg of the journey. Number 9. Mount Fuji, Japan. If you want to return from a vacation, have something absolutely unbelievable to boast about, and have the photos to prove it, then you need to go to Japan. It's not often you get the chance to say you've climbed a country's highest mountain, and telling your friends you reached the summit of Mount Fuji in Japan will leave them open mouthed with disbelief. Good news is, although you do need to be fit, you don't need to be a mountaineer to achieve it, get a volcanic chill. While Japan's Mount Fuji may be a live volcano, don't be mistaken in thinking it'll be warm at the top, it's not at just under 4,000 meters above sea level. The air can be pretty chilly, so you won't be climbing it in shorts and a t-shirt even in the summer months when the peak is bare of snow. Number 8. Golden Gate Bridge, USA If strolling over a suspension bridge has never been on your list of things to do, Maybe it's time it was take a step onto the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, and you'll suddenly understand just how Gulliver felt when he woke. Up in the land of the giants, the sheer magnitude of the metal structure, seemingly floating above the waters of the Golden Gate Strait, is difficult to fully comprehend until you're actually standing on it. Feel the suspense. Crossing the Golden Gate Bridge on foot is no stroll in the park. At just under three kilometers long, doesn't sound too strenuous an activity but add the extra dimension of being almost 300 meters up in the air, and it starts to get interesting when we'll whip at your hair, and any conversation you might be thinking of having will be drowned out by traffic noise. But when you take in the views of San Francisco from the middle of one of the world's most iconic constructions, you'll be really glad you did it. Number 7. Sydney Opera House, Australia. Do you like your architecture with an alien edge to it? If the answer is yes, then getting your photo taken in front of Sydney Opera House has to be a must-do on your list. Perched on the edge of Sydney Harbour, on the outside, the Opera House appears like a giant spaceship folding back its protective shields. On the inside, it's a multicultural combination of venues where, apart from listening to otherworldly operatic music, you can take in some seriously top-notch theatrical performances and concerts. Number 6. The Pyramids of Giza, Egypt if you've ever dreamt of becoming an archaeological treasure hunter, riding a camel through the desert, and uncovering ancient artifacts, get your bags packed, grab a trowel, and jump on a plane that's heading to Egypt. The pyramids of Giza and the Sphinx await you. Be blown away. You don't need to be a lover of either mythology or big cats to appreciate the enormity of the pyramids of Giza and the Sphinx in Egypt. There is something completely timeless about these famous Egyptian landmarks that defies explanation. Wrap the flapping lengths of a kafaya headdress around your face to stop the sting of the sand, and as you stand next to the pyramids to ponder on the ingenuity of ancient civilizations, you'll be blown away by more than desert winds when you realize every step up is actually taller than you are. Number 5. The Colosseum, Italy. Fancy yourself a bit of a gladiator. Well, you may have seen the epic films and think you can swing a sword, but once you're down in the arena of the Colosseum in Rome, you'll probably be so overwhelmed by the size of the amphitheater, you'll want to reconsider. 
The Romans really did take their fun and game seriously. The amphitheater is large enough to have held an audience of around 80,000, which is well on par with most modern Olympic stadiums. Mind-boggling building. The fantastic construction is truly mind-boggling when you consider the materials and equipment the Romans had available to build it. Even more incredible is that it's still standing today. Take an underground tour of the tunnels and feel the prickle of ghostly goosebumps crawl across your skin in sympathy for all the gladiators and animals who preceded you but weren't fortunate enough to come out again and end their day snacking on pizza. Number 4. Taj Mahal, India There's no way you can watch a list of famous landmarks you want to visit without putting the Taj Mahal in India on it. There's just something amazingly special about monuments which have been built for love, whether it's the extra details that are added or just the idea itself. But when Shah Jahan set himself the task of building the Taj Mahal in India, he really went for it colorful crowds always there. Don't be deceived into thinking the Taj Mahal is a palace, and although it's often mistaken for one, it is a mausoleum which he constructed in memory of his wife. Now that's love, its ornateness, inside and out, is something to truly marvel at. Though take note, the colorful crowds winding their way around the Taj Mahal are not an integral part of the decoration. They're the cues to get in. Number 3. Great Wall of China When is a wall not a wall? When it's the Great Wall of China, this is one wall which is completely inconceivable in all aspects until you actually see it so it just has to be part of your list of famous landmarks to visit. When you stand on the Great Wall you won't be wondering about the whys and wherefores of why it was built in the first place because you'll just be too busy gaping at its greatness. Be awed by greatness. Yes, you'd be quite right in surmising Great wasn't added to the wall's name by mistake. When you see that line of stonework snaking through the lush Chinese countryside, over mountains, through valleys and into the infinite distance, you'll realize why it is one of the true wonders of the world and one you seriously just can't afford to miss. Number 2. Eiffel Tower, France If you're in search of the most romantic landmark in the world, then you'll have found it in the Eiffel Tower in Paris. This iconic structure of metal girders for some reason epitomizes love, and has inspired many a man to drop down on one knee on the observation deck to make a marriage proposal. Many lofty proposals are done every day there. What is it about the Eiffel Tower in Paris that causes that effect on people? It could be the pure, ooh la la Frenchness of the vibe in the Paris air at altitude, or it could be the glass viewing floor 60 meters above ground level. It might be the sheer height of the tower, which stands a disconcerting 300 meters plus, or it could just be an after effect from the bubbles in the champagne from the bar right at the top. There's only one way to find out for sure. Put the Eiffel Tower in Paris on your list and go and discover its magic for yourself. So, at number one is the Statue of Liberty, USA. Is there any landmark more famous in the world than the Statue of Liberty in New York? There's only one answer to that. No, there's not. The Statue of Liberty is one lady who should be at the top of everyone's list of world famous landmarks to visit. Though her copper, robes have turned a tarnished green over the years, for a woman of her age and for someone who's been carrying a torch for America for over 130 years, she's still pretty impressive. She is the symbol of freedom worldwide and one you just can't miss seeing at least once in your lifetime. Guaranteed that if you go there, the Statue of Liberty will welcome you to New York without batting an eyelid, the same as she has done millions of other visitors over the decade. So, our journey ends here. Overall, famous landmarks are more than just bricks and mortar. They are living testaments to our history, culture, and aspirations. They connect us to the past, shape our present, and inspire us to dream of a grander future. Next time you stand beneath the shadow of a towering monument or marvel at the intricate details of an ancient ruin, remember the wealth of stories and significance it holds within its walls. If you like our video and today's interesting topic, then please subscribe Stifo. Thanks for watching.